On Black Sister Street is the award-winning novel by the 2012 winner of the Nigeria Prize for Literature, Chika Unigwe. The novel deals with the issue of transatlantic prostitution and is centered around the lives of four women who have made their way from Africa to red light districts of Europe in search of a better life. Kate was brought in by her mother's younger sister. Kate worked for seven years, paid off her debts to her auntie, but her auntie wouldn't give her her freedom back. She still wanted her to continue working, to pay for her house rent, to buy her nice things. I asked Kate why she took the choice that she did. She, I asked her if she knew what she was coming to Europe to do. She said yes, her auntie told her that it was a choice she made because she did not think she had any other options. I think one of the reasons why Nigeria, not just Lagos, is hard to survive is that there's a huge disparity between the wealthy and the poor. And I think it's a lot easier to accept that all fingers are not equal if the difference in the length of the fingers isn't that much. But if it's you know, that huge, then it's, it becomes a lot more difficult. Chika continues to blame the system for the plight of these women and believes there will be no solution until the government does the right thing. Let people have equal access to to the, to, the, to the country's wealth. I think for as long as only very few people have access to that wealth, you're going to be having this kind of, you know, this kind of issues. Um, you're going to be having mothers who encourage their daughters to come to Europe and work as prostitutes. I was supposed to be the guest speaker tonight. Sadly, I couldn't make it. So I'm delivering my message by video. A few years ago, when I was doing research for my novel on Black Sister Street, I spoke to Nigerian sex workers in, in Antwerp, in Antwerp's red light district. I was curious to know how and why they had ended up so far away from home to service the sex industry in Europe. Now, what Lantana is doing, with your help, of course, is giving women like Kate and so many more, women like the, like the women I spoke to in Antwerp, the chance to become somebody without resorting to prostitution and all the dangers that come with it. So please, I beg you, I appeal to you, I beg you, please give generously.